Welcome to the shooting show. This week we follow Chris Dalton stalking marauding hangs that are damaging a forest creation scheme. For this week, uh, this week's package, we're down in Bedfordshire um, at Childerly Sporting HQ. I love coming down here, but this is this year we're doing something a little bit different. I mean, normally we come down, or we will be coming down in February to do some calling with some guys towards the end of Paul's season. Um, but a few sort of folk down here who wanted to try and get through the DSC level two, so. Uh, we come down with the guys, Graham and Steve, and um, I'm doing some training. Steve and Graham are doing some witnessing for level two. Um, and it's an ideal opportunity to actually get a level two done because, you know, you, you, you can see deer out in the field, so you can demonstrate all the all the particular requirements of level two assessment. So uh, we're down here for about a week and, um, you know, we'll get we'll get guys out over two days um, and either train or assess as as need be. So it gets them well down the road to hopefully achieving uh, or getting going towards their their DSC level two. Um, so it's quite a, quite a nice week. Weather wise, it's been quite good for us. Uh, but this afternoon uh, we, we were kind of in between stalks, if you like. We tend to do an AM early and a, and a PM outing. Um, so we came out and took the opportunity of trying uh, shoot a, a cold Chinese water deer. driving in we could see quite a large group of deer in later in fact actually in the fields at the back of me just over the edge were quite a, a large group of deer obviously settled for the day so what we did was work a, a reasonably big um, sort of pincer movement to try and get around into them and, and, and downwind Fairly early in the in the Chinese water deer season, they're just coming to the rut. We've seen a little bit of activity, but not they're not obviously hard at it yet. They're just kind of starting, and we're hoping to try and film a little bit of that activity if we can. Um, we've got a bit of a gap in between taking people out, so we've just come out to try and do a little bit of filming. We've got a, a group of Chinese water deer laid up in front of us. They're pretty settled sort of during the middle of the day now one or two walkers about on the periphery and they seem to lie up into these little sort of largest fields where they're not disturbed much so we're gonna we're gonna kind of walk forward and see what we've got in here we're, we're, we're only shooting only really wanting cull there um, so basically and, and no mature does so we're wanting sort of young does or, or young bucks really um, just to start off on the on the cull it's been a Paul tells me it's been a really good year for them, good breeding year. I mean, some of that possibly is to do with lack of disturbance and people walking and dogs, etc. So they've been totally settled. But for whatever reason, they've had a, they've had a really good year. So there are retention rates have been very good. So he's got a lot of deer on the ground. So he'll obviously need to just reduce those numbers. Um, so we're not getting too much damage to the crop. So we are hopefully going to try and assist him with that this afternoon. We shall see how we do.
couple of big bugs have just chased in. There's quite a big group laid down and just charged in and lifted them all, so they're running about. Definitely starting to get a bit risky. Initially, the deer we got into were within range, but we just couldn't engineer a backstop. Um, so try to move around a little bit to create that, but we were kind of struggling. So we just we just sat really sat and waited and watched. In actual fact, we were assisted slightly by a couple of walkers who walked along the edge of the field below us and then came across the, the hedge line uh, and because they were skylined about two fields away it actually pushed a couple of Chinese water deer across which spooked our deer and started to move one or two of them down. So you'll see that the, the young Chinese water deer kind of worked down and, and just nicely came down below the skyline and then worked across to our left. Nice backstop so it was from that point it was relatively easy. Okay, so young young Chinese water deer male, ideal cull animal. There's quite a few young males with that group actually, not that many females and there was a bit of interaction between the larger bucks kept chasing across. Um, one large buck with the group a doe and then this young cut young young Chinese. So broadside shot took him quite nicely, obviously you see he dropped on the spot. So we can do a suspended growlick on the tree. So we'll do a little cursory uh, examination of him in a minute when I've got the gloves on. Thus far, we've not found any ticks on on these deer at all. So who knows? There'll probably be one or two somewhere which we can find. Okay, so relatively easy to bring the deer back in. And while we were coming back in through the hedge, it's amazing how many slow berries there are here. It's at the, the hedgerows, the blackthorn, are absolutely covered in slow this year. So it must have been a it must have been a good year for slow gins. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.